Natasha Matthews. I'm the course coordinator of Site 4221, which is a work integrated learning course we run in the fourth year honours program in psychology. During the course, our students do a period of work placement with an industry partner. Uh, these industry partners can be um, in hospital settings, business, consultancy firms, government departments, nonprofits, and community organisations. We we'll use ePortfolio to track our students' placement performance in two ways. One is by using the timesheet feature to track placement attendance. Uh, the other way is by using a portfolio to um, allow our placement supervisors to rate student placement performance at the end of the semester. Uh, one of the big advantages of using ePortfolio for us is that it gives our uh, placement supervisors a single system to interact with. So they can approve timesheets and enter their student feedback all in the one uh, platform. For course staff, the big advantages are that it allows us to um, track placement metrics um, in a portfolio and it reduces the admin load we've had previously of trying to verify and track placement hours. So there are a number of strategies we use to assist our external assessors in interacting with ePortfolio. So within ePortfolio itself, we try to make the interaction as simple as possible. So in terms of timesheet approval, we have our students send bulk timesheet requests once a week so that uh, supervisors are not getting a large number of emails to respond to. For the student evaluations, because our students are doing such a diverse range of projects, we have our external assessors rate student performance on some pretty broad metrics. Uh, so we're able to keep our rubric quite simple for our external assessors to interact with. There are also some strategies we use outside of ePortfolio. So we create some bespoke guides for our supervisors for how to interact with the system. We find that sending the guides right before they need to be used keeps them front of mind and supervisors don't need to search through old emails to find the information that they're looking for. Another strategy we use is uh, we encourage our placement supervisors to contact us as a first port of call if they have questions about your portfolio. Often the questions are to do with how to uh, rate student performance or how to find a timesheet they need to approve and we find that we're the best place to provide instant answers to those types of questions. The last thing we do is we really work hard to um, help our placement supervisors feel a part of the student learning. Students are going out to the, their companies and these supervisors are providing really rich learning experiences for our students and we really value that and we try to demonstrate that in a couple of ways. One is uh, during our placement visits, we're always open to feedback about ways we can improve the, the functioning of the course and the ways that they're interacting with it. And when we have flexibility, we always try to make those changes. And the other way is we always invite our supervisors to attend end of semester post sessions and networking days as a way for them to feel engaged in the student learning.